there. It's story time. Who's ready for some Junie B. Jones? All right, let's see. We stopped on chapter three. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the stupid smelly bus. The bus wasn't like my daddy's car at all. It was very big inside and the seats didn't have any cloth on them. The little curly haired girl was sitting near the front and so I tapped on her. Guess what, I said. Mother said for me to sit here. No, she said. I'm saving this seat for my best friend, Mary Ruth Marble. Then she put her little white purse on the place where I was going to sit. And so I made a face at her. What kind of face do you think she made? Hurry up and find a seat, young lady, said Mr. Wu. And so I quick sat down across from the curly, mean girl. And Mr. Wu shut the door. It wasn't a regular kind of door, though. It folded in half, and when it closed, it made a wishy sound. I don't like that kind of door. If it closes on you by accident, it could cut you in half. The bus then made a loud roar, and a big puff of black, smelly smoke came out of the back. Mr. Wu drove for a while. Then... The brakes made that loud, screechy noise again. I covered my ears so I, it couldn't get inside my head. Because if loud, screechy noises get inside your head, you have to take an aspirin. I saw that on a TV commercial. Then the bus door opened again, and a dad and a boy with a grouchy face got on. The dad smiled, and then he plopped the grouchy boy right next to me. This is Jim, he said. I'm afraid Jim isn't too happy today. The dad kissed the boy goodbye, but the boy wiped it off his cheek. Jim had a big backpack. It was blue. I love backpacks. I wish I had one of my very own. Jim's backpack had a lot of zippers. I touched each one of them. One, two, three, four, I counted, and then I unzipped one. Hey, don't, yelled Jim. He zipped it right up again. Then he moved to the seat in front of me. I do not like that, Jim. After that, the bus kept stopping and starting, and lots of kids kept getting on, loud kids, and some of them were the kind who looked like they could be meanies. Then the bus began getting noisy and hot inside, and the sun kept shining down on me through the windows on my fuzzy, hot sweater. And here's another hot thing. I couldn't roll down my window, and so I just kept getting hotter and hotter, and it smelled on the bus, too. Ooh, the bus smelled like an egg salad sandwich. I want to get off of here, I said right out loud, but nobody heard me. I do not like this stupid, smelly bus. Then my eyes got a little wet. I wasn't crying, though, because I'm not a baby, that's why. After that, my nose started running. Then I stayed on the bus for what seemed like three hours until finally I saw it. A flagpole and a playground. That meant we were at kindergarten. Then Mr. Wu drove the bus into the parking lot and stopped. I jumped up real fast, because all I wanted to do was get off of that thing. Only guess what? That meanie Jim pushed right past me. And then the curly-haired mean girl did too. And then people, people started squishing me real tight. And so I pushed them away, and they pushed me right back, and that's when I fell down. And then someone's big shoe stepped on my skirt. Stop it, I yelled. That's when Mr. Wu hollered, hey, hey, hey. And he picked me up and he helped me off the bus. Mrs. was waiting for me, just like my mother said she would be. Hi, I'm glad to see you, she called. I ran right over to her and I showed her the footprint on my skirt. Yeah, only look what happened. I said, I got stepped on. Here's a picture of everyone pushing her. Can you see her? Mm -hmm. I got stepped on, I told Mrs. Mrs. laughed. 
Don't worry, Junie, she said. It'll come off. After that, I folded my arms and I made a frown at her, because guess what? She did it again. She forgot the B in my name. And that's the end of chapter three. Let's peek at the title of chapter four. Me and Lucille and some other kids. Hmm. So when you come back after spring break, we'll read chapter four. Okay? See you later.